I guess my ultimate dream in the very beginning was to have my own studio and to be able to draw for a living. What I love about illustration is essentially you can completely create an imaginary world. There are no real constraints because if you can imagine it, then you can draw it. I get to work with different clients all over the world on very different projects. I might be illustrating live at Couture Week for Dior. I created an imaginary world around a Fendi Palace through to the windows of Bergdorf Goodman in New York. At any one given time, there's usually about 10 to 15 different projects. It's crazy, but this is what I always wanted to do and I love it. One of the most exciting projects that I've worked on recently was for Disney. It was almost as if Cinderella looked like one of my couture characters coming down the runway. And Disney don't often let anyone change anything about their characters, so the fact that I was given a little bit of rope to actually play around with it and in my own style was a huge honour. A lot of the work that I'm most proud of are projects that initially were quite daunting. Being asked to do portraits of Michelle Obama, that was a really exciting project and something I was very proud of. I think I'm driven completely by passion and projects that have a great creative opportunity are always the projects to take. Even the first day at Griffith, I felt finally like I was somewhere where I was on the path to doing what I really wanted to do. Being amongst a world of other people that had a lot of hopes and dreams that didn't have a direct career path laid out, it felt like a place where we could work it out. It felt like a place where we could kind of encourage each other, be inspired and really do what we were good at. When I actually finished studying graphic design, I moved to London, worked in a lot of different creative roles that were based on having a degree in graphic design, from art directing to working on design projects to doing some styling at one of the music records. From experience of working in lots of different countries with lots of different creatives, I meet Australians everywhere doing incredible things. It makes me think that regardless of where we've come from, we have the ability to compete on a world scale. As the world becomes more and more automated, we need those handcrafted things and the things that can only be created by the human hand. And if I can keep working on collaborating with really creative and interesting people and also creating things in and around when I'm inspired, then that will be my dream for the future.